would you play a Halloween game with us? Yes. Well, it's a trivia game. You see, have you been to the Rotten Tomatoes website? Not for a while, but yes, I've been there But before. you get the idea. You could compile scores of all the reviews, give a score from zero to 100. Right. Uh, we've got some horror films here. They're horribly horrific horror films, and I'd like to see if you two can guess the scores of these films in a little game we like to call Rotten Tomatoes. Clap your hands, everybody. It's time for Rotten Tomatoes, the horribly horrific horror film. It's one through 10, right, is that the score? No, it's, one, it's zero. Zero. Through 100. Through 100, okay. Zero through 100. Right. And whoever's cl whoever okay. gets the score closest, you gotta be within 10%, though. Okay. You will get a prize. Okay. Cool, here we go. Uh, drum roll, Scotty. Uh, film number one out of four, Rotten Tomatoes. Saw five. Saw five is the first film we're gonna showcase here. A Saw 5 from 2008, one reviewer said, Saw 5, wish you hadn't. <laughs> so zero to 100, to get the prize, you gotta be within 10%. Who's ever the closest gets the prize. Thoughts so here? So the score, or you, you said the score of that? The okay. score oh, okay. from zero to 100. Uh. 15%. 15, wow. Yeah. Wow, that is a very specific low score. No, no helping out, don't get on your phones, folks. Deborah, she went 15. What are you, th oh my gosh. <laughs> the it couldn't stay I'm in theaters go. and it won't stay on this table. Um, because it is a franchise, even though it was probably shitty and it did come from a franchise, I would give it at least 25%. Okay, both good scores, but my gosh, 13? Jill, yeah, you have won. Woo! I actually saw it, so I knew. You saw it? <laughs> I did. I was in. I went to the premiere, and I was like, "This is shit." <laughs> uh, whoa! Oh, there's your review right on the back, and your your prize is deep in this bucket of candy. Oh my gosh! You get to see it again on Blu-ray. Oh! So five. All right, Jill up one zero. Here we go. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes, horribly horrific edition. Uh, film number two, Friday the 13th, number eight. That's right. <laughs> oh number eight from 1989, Jason Takes Manhattan. <laughs> this is a real film. There have still been more, and yet in 1989, they were at number eight. Eight. I'm giving that. I'm giving that eight percent. I'll give that eight for the eight. That is it. You nailed wow. it. I, I have to give it to you. I, it's eight. 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 Ain't that great? Friday the Thirteenth uh, Part Eight. Said, eight percent. Worst of the series. The only thing Jason takes in this film is your money. So, <laughs> and uh, eight. And then and then I, let me I just reach. I have to get. It's deep in here. Your prize because you get a prize for getting it to head on. It's, oh my gosh, it's Jason 8, and some, for some reason there's a bag of Hershey's Kisses along with it. Wow, how about that? Because you, you got it on the nose. Yeah, bonus. That's the first one we've gotten on the nose. That's wow. very impressive. That's very impressive. Okay, very excited about this one. This is a quadruple threat. Drum roll, here we go. Rotten Tomatoes. Leprechaun. One, two, three. And Leprechaun in Space, number four. Leprechaun yes, that's a real thing. Space. Leprechaun in Space, which of course all precedes Leprechaun in the Hood, one and two. What we're going to do here, all four films, all four films, one compiled score. Now allow me to give you a few facts about okay. these films uh, that came out uh, from 1993, 94, 95, 96. Once a year, they were pumping out the Warwick Davis classics. <laughs> Leprechauns one through four. Uh, the first one uh, stars uh, Jennifer Aniston, uh, uh, pre-friends Jennifer Aniston. Okay. And the Our review uh -uh. From, from New York Times says, it's still Jennifer Aniston's best film to date. <laughs> so that was from 2003. She's been nominated for an Oscar since, but that made me laugh. Yeah. And you guys too, right? Oh, yeah. That first like, one yeah, was kind of scary. The failing New York Times. Uh, What's that? That first one was kind of scary. He was creepy, that little dude. He, uh. Well, he kept creeping. Uh, <laughs> number two's review is, no pot of gold at the end of this insipid film. Here you go. Uh, Leprechaun 3's review is, even worse than the first two. That's just all the review said. <laughs> it's even worse than the first two. And Leprechaun in Space. Leprechaun oh, in good. Space. Good stuff. Uh, and the review here says the best movie about a leprechaun in space I've seen in years. <laughs> I like that very much. 
So we're going to compile the scores of all four of these films. Jill, let's have you go first here, since Devin went first last. I just, you know, nail. I'm going to go low again, um, but I'm going to give all them some combined. weight because it is a franchise. Maybe 20%. Okay, 20%. Deborah, how do you feel? All four together, she only went 20. It's an average of five. It's an average of five. What are you thinking? Technically, I'm, I'm thinking lower than 20. Okay. I'm, thinking it's, I'm, I'm thinking it's way lower than 20. Three? She gave it more credit because 20 <laughs> means like four like four points each or four, the four, four each. Right. I would give it, I would still give it like a seven. Seven? It's 23. So oh, Jill, wow. right on point, 23. And here's, here's the best about that. Here's the best about that. Leprechaun 2 has a zero. Leprechaun 3 has a zero. Leprechaun 4, Leprechaun in Space, has a zero. Meaning that only Leprechaun one, one I told got you a single one. point. And then dip, let me just dip in the bucket here. And then, oh my God, looky, looky there. There it is. You know we're giving All of the Leprechauns. Here we go. And uh, so what do we got here? We got two to one is the score, right? Two to one? Two to one is the score? Two right? to one, yeah. Two to one is the score. Okay. Uh, let's get to the fourth and a final film drum roll, please. Here we go. Oh, wait. Here we go. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, this yeah. is the Dana Carvey classic, Master of Disguise. In honor of Halloween and all the costumes we'll be wearing, Master of Disguise. How do I remember this film? It's uh, Dana Carvey, 2002. Yeah, the, and I think that's because when he, that's when he became popular doing, I mean, really popular after. He'd done the Wayne's Worlds and all of that. He was off yeah. uh, Saturday Night Live. Uh, and there's so many special features on here. That's incredible. That there you go. Yeah, yeah, take a look at it. Master of Disguise with Dana Carvey. I do remember oh, this. I, I never do. saw it, but I do remember Honor this. Of ha yeah. Halloween. I, I would turtle say... Turtle guy? Turtle, I'm turtle. I'm going to say 32. Wow, 32. Yeah. Deborah, where are you going with this one? I'm going to go a little lower. I'm going to say 27. 27. I'm sorry, it's one. <laughs> it's just smack dab on a one. So no one gets the prize. You have to be within 10%. Uh, so that leaves Jill as our winner on tonight's Rotten Tomatoes. Horrifically horrible Halloween. Uh, thank you so much for, for playing along. Halloween. Absolutely.